I can't believe I'm going to put myself through this all over again. But I'm going to hate watch The Crow 2024. I think this movie is the worst movie of 2024. Hands down. I know we still got a few months left before the year ends, but I don't think anything can be worse than this. There's no way. But I think there's a few things I missed the first time I watched it, so hopefully now I could uh, watch it properly and really roast it. Let's go. Yeah, he got caught in the wire. Okay. Ah. So love dies. Oh man. And you will never, ever forgive. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Did they trick you into thinking it's gonna be a good movie, right? The crow. And there she is. Sadie. Future Oscar nominee. Twig. Why did you get this? Dom shot it. Look, Why is she talking like that? Get him with Sadie. Well, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Look at her mouth. What the? Oh yeah, happy October Eve, by the way. Goodbye. So people said that she did that on purpose so that guy won't, won't catch up to her or, or grab her or whatever. Oh yeah, she did do it on purpose. Big old dummy. Why is it that tattoos in a movie character don't really work? People don't really like it. That was one of the big problems that people had with the uh, the Joker, the Suicide Squad Joker. And it does, it just, I don't know, it just looks stupid for some reason. But not it, not every time. I guess not because everybody has one and it's kind of uh, overdone, it's played out. I remember in Mystic River, Sean Penn's character, he had a tattoo on his back. It was a big cross. And nobody said anything bad about it. Wonder why. So my, my first time watching this, I thought this was a, a jail, a normal prison, a normal jail, because they're forcing you to be in there. It's like a rehab, but they have uniforms and everything. I mean, to me, it was a, just a jail, but I guess maybe it's a combination of both. But I've never heard of one where they have men and women living together like that. Maybe somewhere in the world, but not in the United States of America. It looks like a mall. It reminds me of Ooh, he's being bullied. Oh, poor guy. See, they're trying to make you feel sorry for him. But name one person, famous or not, or famous, but name one person, a famous person who has a tattoo on their face and who is just really likable by everybody. Besides Mike Tyson. Usually, especially at his age, man, they're like little douchebags. Nobody likes them. So that, that ain't helping us feel sorry for him. Ooh, you look at him. He's so depressed. I said it in my review that whoever wrote this has never been really depressed or known someone who was, like, clinically depressed. They don't walk around all the time moping around with their face like that. There's a picture someone made of everybody who ever committed suicide who was famous. And it's a bunch of pictures of them just laughing. And this is really dumb. Why did they introduce some uh, supernatural... Villain, man. You don't, they didn't, you don't need that for the Crow movie. Like the original, I really like the original villain. Him and Tony Todd. And his weird girlfriend or sister, whatever she was. All of them, uh, yeah, yeah, the whole crew, all of them. This is dumb right here. I don't, I don't like this villain right here. The deal I made. You go to hell. So I don't have to. Why is he explaining that to her? I wonder what he told her. It looked pretty real. Give him that. I remember back in the day, they would just draw a line of blood across their throat. Like a smudge. Get your shit together! 
You know why we still out here? It's because of your bullshit. Huh? So based on that, are they supposed to be in America? I don't know where they're at. That guy sounded American to me. Prison slot. Yeah, go ahead. Freely sit down next to a guy. There's a big ass underbite. But they have a thing about men and women not sitting together. I know. They told me. Oh, there you go. Then why are they mixed I together? Like too. Laugh now, cry later. Oh, Lord. It's kind of how things Here we go. The dumbest line of all. For me, it's more like cry now, cry later. Oh, my God. That's so stupid. Want to hear a joke? No. Uh, I don't know. Is it funny? No, sh that's a joke, you dumbass. Great. What kind of tea is hard to drink? I don't know. Reality. Oh. What's your name? I'm Eric. Shelly. Why did they use her name? Makes me even more mad. Stupid. Fucking fifth graders. If you were made to feel that anything wrong was your fault, step into the circle. If you were abandoned, neglected, manipulated by those who were meant to protect you, step into the circle. If you need to close your mouth, step into the circle. You're right. Doors all open. Well, it's like a minimum yeah. security rehab center. Ooh, look, they're showing how He's depressed so he is. He's so sad. Look at all those pictures. Oh, man. I mean, it just looks like fucking lawyers to me. Want to take a look? Oh, it's on it. So not American right there. Lawyers to me. <sighs> if doing? he knew about that escape, Fuck. why did he wait till the last minute to, uh, to escape? That little sweater is not enough to avoid getting Take cut by those razors. Barbara. Razor barbed wire. Hey, 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 this part right here. Oh, God. Those people driving by, they must know that there's a jail or rehab center, or whatever the hell it is, nearby. In America, when you're uh, driving down the freeway, there's a prison nearby. They'll have signs that says, don't pick up hitchhikers for obvious reasons, right? But let's say they didn't know that there was a jail around here. Two people in the middle of the night in a, in a uniform and they're flagging you down. And they give them a ride. No problem. Look at that. No question. They hop in the back. No problem. Yep. Nobody's batting an eye. You look like mental patients. I want to stay. I want to stay. Do you mind if I use a shower? Not yet. Uh, she wants to have some funky sex. Stank. Why well, they gotta show it? They never showed anything like this with the, the original crow. Because it's not necessary. What's the first thing you liked about me when you saw me? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> Tell you, fifth graders. This, what's the first thing you liked about me? Who talk like this, man? <laughs> What's the worst thing you've ever done? This movie. Right. You spend so much uh, time doing this, man. Those are the ones? Mm -hmm. All about your dumb relationship. Dude, I guess we're supposed to like them now more. But, you know, they're getting high and drunk and everything. Just being regular junkies. I mean, nothing wrong with, with smoking or drinking, but you can tell they're straight crackheads. Okay, this part's fucking stupid. Look, kissing through the... Come on! Who does that? Kissing through a curtain. They just met and they're already in love. Promise me something. Why are you talking like that? If I'm ever hard to love, try to love me harder. Bitch, fuck you. I'm gonna put this movie under comedy instead of film and animation on YouTube. Yeah, look, they're on the run. Hiding out. See, they should have gave us a reason why they feel a strong bond. Maybe she saved his life, vice versa, whatever. 
But just the way they did it, it's not believable. Karaoke night. Oh yeah, she's supposed to be a singer, right? Never heard of her before, but she's supposed to be a singer. Why'd you stop? That was beautiful. That accent came out full form. Again, they're on the run. They're just walking down the street, no problem. But I guess a lot of people do that. They don't want to play for any. Bunch of dumb people. And if you left me, I'd die. If I left you, I'd die. Oscar worthy. Anywhere. Yeah, he doesn't stand out there for a coat. So, do you think angsty teens would build little shrines for us? Oh my God! Cigarettes and whiskey. Stupid! It's like they're telling kids to do that. Lilies. Like, please make a shrine for us. Love this movie. Somebody said, "Uh, modern." Angsty teens suck. They're terrible. Nobody likes them. I don't think they even like each other. They don't even like looking at themselves on, on the TV screen or in the movie screen. Just annoying. Whereas, you know, movies from the 90s, even early 2000s, 80s, whatever. Yeah, they were cool. They weren't, you, don't, you didn't hate them or anything. For some reason, I think it was the internet or something. You know, the social media stuff. It reminds you, you know, of, of, of those people on the internet when you see them on the screen. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm sure they're not on. Yep, hiding out. Like the writer forgot that they were hiding out. Not only from the law, but from the weirdos. Please don't do that! Finally! Okay, right here. Now everybody was roasting the hell out of this part. It's a thin plastic bag. Very thin. The kind you put vegetables in. She could easily. And you see her hand right there. She could easily punch a hole with her finger. Or that big snaggle tooth she got. Bite through it. Cool. Or her tongue, man. Anything. Oh, this movie, I swear. <laughs> Off the crackhead heaven you go. Even the way they got killed in the original pro was even was more brutal. So really bad for them, man. This one is, I don't know, kind of done. Crackhead Titanic. I'll never let go. You didn't even try to go after them. Somebody called this place Crowland. They called it Crow Purgatory. <laughs> the best one, though, is uh, Croatia. <laughs> Yeah, this guy had nothing on that little girl, Sarah, from the original Crow. Her creepy little voice. Way better than whatever this guy's supposed to be. At least they should have made him look like the Reaper a little bit. A little skinny or something. Tall. Like, there's, there, there's this movie, this Mexican movie about, you know, the afterlife and all that kind of stuff. Real good. I recommend it. It's called Macario. Death. Or the Reaper shows up. The way that guy looks, that's who this guy should have looked like. See, so you would think it's crow time right there, but no, not yet. Well, this crow can't even fight. That guy sucks. <laughs> it sounds like that straight bitch. Oh, that I like. That, that's the, one of the only few things I like about this movie. Shut up! I really like the healing effect. Because in the 94 version, it didn't... In the 94 version, it didn't, it didn't really look too good. But that's not their fault, you know, the technology at the time. But right here, they take full advantage of the technology and it looked real good. The way it heals up like that. You can see all the tissue reconnecting. The, crow. Yeah, the poor crow has no real purpose. Just there, flying around. Why are they whispering this? We already know this, man. Shelly? <laughs> Shelly, baby? No, 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 it's okay. It's okay, don't look. Come down from there. Do it. Why am I here and she isn't? You're not gonna like the answer. Just tell me. She's on her way down. So hell. In hell. Before it felt more like a personal a vendetta revenge story. Like he's doing it because he he wants to avenge his death and hers. Uh Shelly Webster 
and Eric Draven's death. He wants to avenge that. It's coming from him. Right here, he, he's telling him what he should do. Now it's crow time. I think. What? The hell was that? Man, this movie's just dragging. Get it, man. You're in love with her. Who the hell, especially at their age, has actual physical pictures? Break yourself, fool. I fucking killed you. Yes. Oh my god. See, compare this dumbass scene right here to when, uh, I forgot his name from the, the original Crow movie. But when he's like, We killed you, man. No. There's no coming back. I know you. I know you. I knew I knew you. I knew I knew you. But you ain't you. You can't be you. We put you through the window. There ain't no coming back. This is the really real world. There ain't no coming back. No coming back! There ain't no coming back! There's no, that part is, man, it's so good. Look at this, man. This is lazy. Like, uh, uh, we killed you, dude. Come on, man. Black. He pulled a Pulp Fiction. Marvin, what do you make of all this? Man, I don't even have an opinion. Well, you gotta have an opinion. I mean, do you think that God came down from heaven and stopped? Oh, what the fuck's happening? Oh, oh man. man! Oh man, I shot Marvin in the face. Why the fuck you do that? Marion. Marion should. Black. It's kind of like Deadpool, a little bit. And nobody stops. Bone sticking out, man. Ah. 9-11. Why is he telling, telling him all this? He doesn't even have a gun or anything to his head. That poor bird, man. He's tossed him to the side, a side character. Come uh. on! Throw it up! Oh. That looks good. I, I give him that. Gunshots and stuff. Flatter. I think right here is where he finally crows up. Mine for hers. Oh. My soul for hers. Noble gesture. Here we go. It's crow time. I christened the crow. It was like oil this time to the makeup. With this black blood, you will move between worlds just like them. Oh, ho, ho. Wow. He's the. Uh... See, the original Crow wasn't this brutal. He just wanted to get rid of him. Didn't have a password on his phone. Also, what is makeup? <laughs> He's checking himself out like Robert De Niro. You talking to me? I'm afraid so. He was killed. Are you sure? I'm sorry. They don't talk in code? Like the Mafia? They're just like, yeah, I killed him, I murdered him, he's dead now. Somebody tapping into that phone. I got their ass. This kid's not even stealthy like the original Crow. He's just walking around. Wow, this is the best part of the movie, man, hands down. <laughs> oh, man. They're getting better with the CGI blood. Give him that. But I don't care how loud an opera is. It's not going to be louder than some gunshot. People would have been scattering by now. That's true what someone said. Uh, these poor people had nothing to do with his, his death. Oh, this is brutal. Oh, man. He bit the curve. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
You notice how they don't hit his head? What happens if you blow his eyeball out? Yeah, I'm rooting for the security guard. Oh, I like that. That one was really good. <laughs> Look at that. Jesus. Got a splitting headache. <laughs> Say goodbye <laughs> to your head. Off with her head. Oh man. Here you go. Drive home safely. What did the audience have to do with all that? Why why them? Why did they keep turning his head like that? I think he wants to copy the original crow, but He's not cool, he can't do that. Just kill him, you gotta do all that yapping. You don't come back from that. There's no coming back. Oh, not him too. So they're implying that he killed his family? Look at that, he burned down the campus. Back in Croatia. What is this place? Croatia. Oh, they take him to hell. And she's back. Nothing left from crackhead in love. He fought hard for you. Ah, he, he was a medic. Well, uh, it was all a dream. Oh, you're not gonna get a part two. Almost enough. Finally. That part two, I don't see it happening, man. Hopefully they'll leave the crow alone. I said it before and I'll say it again. The worst movie of 2024. Nothing can beat it. Probably the top 10 movies of all time. Probably one of the worst. All right, man. I will catch you on the next one.